All right. Awesome. Will, thank you for joining me for this uh, student testimonial, student success story. Yeah, thanks for having me. Excited uh, to have you here. Okay. So to start off, I just okay. want to ask you if you could just you know, tell people your name and a little bit about your background. Sure. Uh, Will Torres, born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, uh, now currently residing in Orlando, Florida. Uh, just had enough of the city life and was ready to head down. Like, just talking to Carrie early, just traffic and weather, had enough of that and uh, was able to reposition with uh, my day job and been in Florida 15 years um, and loving it. It's definitely home. You know, the weather and traffic. I have a 15 minute commute to work door to door. I have water in any direction, 45 minutes from me. So uh, that, that's all I need. You know? Awesome. And what's the day job? Uh, I work, I'm a mechanic for JetBlue Airways. Uh, aircraft mechanic. I know since I was in the fourth grade that I'm going to fly and fix airplanes. And, uh, you know, that's what I do. So I play with them every night. So Tuesday's my transition. I'd actually got to go play with them tonight. Uh, so I take care of the errors during the day. And right after this call, I'll rest up a little bit and prepare for tonight. Nice, nice. Now, yeah. do, do you fly? Like, do you fly? Uh, recreationally, not as much as I'd like. Uh, my son is actually leaving tomorrow for orientation for flight school. Nice. And I figured once I get him to his instructor's rating, I'll probably double dip and have him teach me. And then I'll work on my private pilots from there and having my son as my instructor. Cool. How exciting yeah. is that? Yeah, I can't wait for that day to sit there, for, take my first lesson consistently and look across and look at my instructor and see that it's my son, it's Captain son. Torres. You know. nice. <laughs> Captain Torres, if you will. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> we're going to have a proud daddy moment there. Um. <clears throat> Um, all right, cool. So how long have you been interested in passive? We know you're interested in, in planes. We know you're interested in tinkering with them and flying them. Mm -hmm. We know you're interested in the water and jet skiing. I see you all the time doing that. Right. How long have you been interested in passive income? I can't look back and say where it started per se, a specific date. Um, I just know it's a long time coming. I'm going to date myself a little bit here. Um, coming <laughs> up as a kid, uh, one of my favorite shows was uh, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous with Robin mm -hmm. Leach. <laughs> uh, and I mean, this is as a kid, you know, 10, somewhere between 6 and 10. Uh, this was Friday night. It's the equivalent of what the younger generation knows as MTV Cribs. Cribs but it yeah. just didn't focus on the house, you know, it was just their lifestyle. Um, I had no idea what I was seeing. I just knew I liked what I saw. You know, I didn't know that there was a big dollar amount with the big fancy boat and the big houses. I just liked some of the things that I saw. Um, so I just started chasing, you know, I'm, I'm humble. I'm content with where I'm at and what I have, but it doesn't stop me from trying to achieve more, yeah. you know, and, and that's it. And that's how I look at it. So when, uh, my dad is financially stable off of real estate. So I had that as an example, uh, but he's old school, you know, it's all his, I won't see a dime till he's in the ground, which obviously I'm not waiting for, right, um, right. but I had it as the example, you know, right. of. Hey, now he has real estate like he has real estate rental like, properties um, uh, yeah he owns rental properties uh so you know get the work done and every month there's that check so uh so i've had ideas of it for quite a while um I'm did, he, did he have those while you were growing up yeah he's always uh as far back as i can remember he's had properties um he's built them obviously over my childhood and into adulthood but as far back as i can remember he's had real estate Mm -hmm. um, but again, he's old school. My dad taught me how to maintain and fix. I had to learn how to go out and own on my own. Um, so I did that. Um, but it worked, you know, cause now when I did acquire some, I could pick and choose what I wanted to take on with what projects, you know, I could say, mm -hmm. okay, I want to do this project. No, I don't want to take that out. My time is more valuable. I want to, you know, uh, contract that out. And yeah. I learned that from him. Uh, so it was massive. It was huge, uh, with that aspect. So, um, you know, to this day, I count my blessings. I haven't lost a dime in real estate. And it's a combination of learning from mentors, learning from my dad and stuff like that. Um, even with the crash that we had in what, what was it, 2012? Um, add a little bit of luck. I sold one of my biggest properties at the peak just because it was too big. It was like, you know, this house is too big. I want to downsize, sold it at the peak, moved into a rental because I wasn't sure if I wanted another property or if I wanted land, yeah. or if I wanted community living or if I wanted my own land. Mm -hmm. uh, so I moved into it. My, actually, my ex-wife at the time said, let's move into a rental until we figure it out. And the market crashed. Pure luck. You know, so then we were able to, it's awesome. you know, so exactly. So now we were able to come in at the bottom 
weather the storm and pick up a couple more there. Um, and you know, things have been well. Um, but so you've um, always you've always had passive income in your life. Yes. But the know, dad, you know, he had to set that example ne- for you. Exactly. Not necessarily defined as what passive income was. I had right. to learn it, but I knew the idea of it, you know, exactly. pay right. multiple right. sources of income. Um, and then when I started doing my education and my training and my learning, you know, now I'm putting definitions to these phrases and these words. Okay, sure. hold on. This is what I want to do. I want to get some work done and have it constantly pay me for the work that I've already done. Uh, I started looking at that. Um, I'm big into mentors, and uh, obviously, uh, but I've applied that with every aspect of my life. It actually started with playing paintball. I wanted to get About good that. at paintball in the shortest period of time, so I found one uh, professional team that was in my area, and I was there. I was their dummy. Yeah, I ran around the field, and they shot at me, and they lit me up. But eventually, I got to shoot back. <laughs> so that was it. Eventually, I got to shoot back, and you know, um, earned the respect and, and learned. And, and, and yeah. took the time, appreciated the time that they were giving me, um, right. and got up to level a D three semi pro in a very short period of time. Um, How about that? It, yeah, it was hobby. It wasn't where I wanted to go career. It wasn't. I knew the time commitment to take to keep going to the next level. It just mm-hmm. wasn't what I what I wanted to do. I didn't um, even know so that they had pros in paintball. Like anything else, if you if you're interested, you can find the, the, right. the upper level of uh, achievements. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that's actually where that mentorship mentality came from. It's like, all right, let me learn from the people that are doing it well yeah, yeah. And, and learn from them and get it done in the shortest period of time. So let me ask you this. So you know about passive income. You know about it with real estate. What got you interested in ATMs? Um, again, I can't. My, I was having this conversation uh, with a friend of mine not too long ago because they had remembered that I had mentioned this years ago. Um, ATMs? Years ago. How about that? Um, and I don't know where it went away or why it went away. Uh, mm-hmm. So what are we doing? Uh, October will be a year that I've actively started the position. Um, you and I met uh, almost two years ago, if I'm not mistaken. And I sat on that for about a year, but actively working on it. It's coming up, I think October will be a year. Um, so when I actually started implementing it and putting it into play and, and purchased my first unit, that friend of mine said, well, you know, what made you start this time? Um, and it, actually, it was real estate. Uh, my last real estate deal um, does very well. Uh, I'm into that one. Simple numbers. I'm into it for 12 a month. I rent it for 22. So it's $1,000 free and clear every month, clean after all my fees, $1,000 cash flow every month. But mm-hmm. it took me 40 grand to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's for the down payment, the renovation costs, you know, closing costs, stuff like that. So while I'm building that bankroll again, I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to sit on my hands and do nothing. What else could I do? Mm. And I don't know if it was a search. I th- honestly, I think it was YouTube. You know, you search for one thing and then you get the random suggested videos. Yeah. But I think that's what I think that had popped up. So I'm re- now I'm researching ATM business again, coming across a couple different mentors and I'm crunching the numbers, doing the math. I'm like, okay, hold on. On my real estate deals, I look for a minimum of five hundred dollars clean. That's my minimum to get me excited. You know, depending on the numbers, you know, how far, how much work, you know, I might go with a little bit more, a little bit less. But 500 free and clear is what I would like to uh, get a minimum out of each one of my deals. All right. Well, I did a thousand, which is great. That doubled, but it cost 40. Right. Well, you know what an ATM can do, and we know what an ATM costs. We're talking about right. similar numbers clearing every month for significantly lower startup, yes. significantly lower investment. So, by no means am I straying away from real estate, but now maybe I shifted focus a little bit on this because I could do it so much faster. Yeah. Right. You know, I can I can pick up two or three machines here and there and, and reposition and locate and generate the similar cash flow per month per unit and then just use the circle. JetBlue funds the real estate, real estate funds the ATMs, ATM funds the real estate and vice versa. And, yep, and yep. that's my that's that's my my current set of vehicles right now. Yeah. Um I'm glad uh, you said that because I we, I get a lot of folks in real estate and it's because they, you know, same deal. I'm tired of putting out this amount of money to make this return when I could put this amount of money to make that return. Correct. Correct. And same uh-huh. thing. Now, again, not that anybody's leaving real estate because no, I, not at all. Too. I'll not always all. be in real estate mm-hmm. as well, Absolutely. but they, they just want to diversify and mm-hmm. why not put more, not? you know, less money in something that's going to make you the same or more return. <laughs> Correct. Um, yeah. And it's, it's, um, my ATM business is not going to replace real estate. I'll continue to do both. Right. Exactly. But, 
the ATM business and real estate will eventually replace JetBlue. I love JetBlue. I love what I do. Um, but, you know, the moment I stop turning that wrench, I stop getting paid. So I have to supplement yeah. that income. I love what I do. Again, fourth grade, I'm going to fly and fix airplanes. But I know I don't want to do it for the next 20 years of my life. So everything that I Oh, you now, probably didn't know that at fourth grade, but you know that now. No, not at all. Exactly. No, it's just my, my next step. You know, I'm looking no. what is beyond and that's it. So everything that I do, I've coined my own phrase. It's life after blue. You know, um, I'm at 19. I just celebrated 19 uh, last week. Wow. The goal is 20 on the dot, Carrie. I want to do 20 on the dot on my exact 20th anniversary, August 6, 2021. At least be in a position to say, you know what, the decision's mine. You know, if yeah. I stay after that, that's fine. But I want to have all my other ducks lined up so I can say, you know what, Will? The choice is 100% yours now. 100%. And, and that's freedom. That's freedom. That's freedom. And that's it. And that's it. So again, whether I decide to stay, because again, I love what I do. You know, yeah. I'm 45 years old, but if I'm walking in one of the parks or just outside, if I hear the engine spinning, I still look up. You know, uh, it, I can't really explain it. It's just like the big kid in me comes out. And I literally look up at the airplane, look up the sky, look at the airplane. It doesn't, you know, I look at it for three seconds and I go about my day. But, right. you know, until that goes away, I'm going to continue turning wrenches. But doesn't mean that I can't prepare for that day. No doubt. No doubt. And that's it. So that, that's all I'm doing. You know, I have one other vehicle that we've talking about offline that, uh, that I want to get into play. And, uh, but again, it's just the circle. All these things are going to help feed each other and yeah. the goal is to eventually be able to walk away. You know, I'll consider the day I walk away from JetBlue retirement, but it doesn't mean that I'm never going to work again. Right. You know, it's just, oh, yeah. that's the one that, yeah, I'm stepping you're away from that. You're just retired from working for somebody else. That's it. From some, from somebody else. You know, I'll never have to ask for a day off again. I'll never have to put in a vacation bid or a holiday bid. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to be completely mine. And that's where that freedom comes from. So, uh, yeah, just grinding and building and taking steps towards that. So I know, I know you said you like to get mentors and that's why obviously you, you reached out to me, I guess, ultimately to, to become an ATM mentor. But Correct. what is it about mentors that you like? Why, um, why do you like choose to get one with everything you want to do? Plain and simple. It's efficiency, you know, I want to accomplish X, Y, Z, no matter what it is, no matter what aspect of it is. If you're interested in something and you want to achieve a certain level in the shortest period of time, it, I, I can't even get the words out. It's that simple. Find who's doing it. <laughs> it's that simple. Find who's there, who's at that level and learn from them. Right. If you can't find one person that's willing to teach, I guarantee you there's another one. Yeah. You know, and, and then click, you know, not, you're not going to vibe with every single mentor right out 100%. the gate, yeah. you know, and so your time is valuable too, just because they're in a position, oh, where did I get it from? I think I got it from coaching football. You have to be one step ahead of someone to be able to teach. That's it. Just one step. If you're one step ahead, then you could share that one step with them and then keep growing together. So uh, mentorship, it's literally, it's just efficiency, getting to yeah. where I want to get to in the shortest period of time, you know, avoiding the pitfalls. Right. Um, you know, uh, every time I post something, my inbox blows up. Well, how do you do it? How do you do this? How do you do that? You know, and I'll share to an extent, you know, I, I respect your program. So, you know, I don't give that stuff away for free, but um, there's enough out there. You know, there, there's enough out there. We, uh, my best friend, my youngest, uh, my youngest son's godfather, he asked, I put him on and I shared him with him some stuff. There's another guy uh, locally, uh, William Moxie, doing well. And we are all in Orlando, Central Florida. It hasn't my business hasn't taken a hit? Yeah, you know, I, I haven't slowed down at all. <laughs> I kind of tell people there's so many deals out there. There's enough because people are like, "Why are you teaching people?" There's so many deals out there. There's enough for everybody. Like, uh, it actually worked. It actually worked. Real quick story. Uh, the one that I posted, the last one that I posted. Uh, you know, I was talking with a business owner for over a month, and he hits me with a. Uh, uh, it's like an event hall. Um, so he calls me, I think, on a Thursday afternoon. Now, I'm groggy because I'm still working with JetBlue. I'm third shift. So I'm getting the call mid-afternoon. And he's like, oh, yeah, I got an event this weekend. So I'm like, all right, let me check my calendar. And oh, we'll schedule an install when I realize it's Thursday night and the event is Saturday. There is no checking of the calendar. We have to install this tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Um, so getting more details, how many people? 600 guests, cash only. All right, 600 guests, cash only. We know the conversion rate, right? Uh, but uh, it's cash bar and cash food. 
the entire event's cash only. I was like, okay, let's just do simple math here. 600 people, what's the door charge? $40. Uh, $40. Okay. I was like forty thousand. Holy shit! I was like forty dollars at the door. <laughs> Six hundred grass. Now we know a hundred percent of people aren't going to use it, but let's budget on the high end, right? So I'm doing simple math. Six hundred times forty. Uh, simple math. That's twenty four k in less than twenty four hours. In less than forty eight hours. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> you know. Okay. I was like, bud, I'll make some calls and I'll make it happen. My bank's not going to be happy. They don't want you walking up to the day of, hey, can I give me 24, give me yeah. 24K in 20s today <laughs> on a Friday. <laughs> so I'm like, hey, bud, give me the heads up. So, but now the wheels are spinning, right? I'm like, okay, 600 guests, one machine. Again, even if 100 people are using them, even if 50 people is, now you got a line of 50 to use one machine, but you need a second machine. I call my best friend. He has one sitting in his garage. Hey, bud, listen, I got an event. Let's do this, blah, blah, blah. And what do we also do? Now we split the cash, you know, because there's enough out there, you know. Yeah. Um, so, Carrie, we get there and now we're discussing surcharge. Okay, well, here's my minimum and anything above that, we're going to split. But this is what I got to get. Okay, let's try this. It's an event. It's a nightclub type event. It was a $6 surcharge. Nice. Ching, you know. So What's this? What I, did you say? To exactly, you know, exactly. So do I mind splitting that? Heck no. Why? Because... One machine wasn't going to cut it. So what did I do? I'm splitting the potential profits, but I'm providing service. Now his guests are using two machines versus one. No and lag. It's less cash you got to go to your bank. It's to less cash that I got to come out of. Yep. You know. So hey, when what is it? It's all the cliches, right? Win-win scenario. Providing the service. You know, mm -hmm. these cliches are there for a reason because they worked and they were effective for X amount mm -hmm. of people. So they be, they coined the phrase. Right. You know? So. I mean, it, it's not rocket science. Yeah, um, and you know what? It's it's like it's our duty to teach our kids, our friends, our family. That's it. Yes. Because I mean, you they're not going to learn. You know, they're not going to learn anywhere else. A hundred percent. You know, um, mm -hmm. you know, teaching. The biggest part that I that I share with people, yeah, I can show you how to do this. That this is this is overall easy. It's the mindset that's going to be the challenge. You know, what are you going to do after you get twenty five no's? You know, can you grind out and work on that 26th one and the 27, 28 until the 29th becomes the yes? You know, that's the part that's more challenging because that's preconditioning. That's over time. You know, that's yeah. habit. And those are the things that are more of the challenge, you know. Oh, yeah. Up here. The business itself, you know, I would never take away from what I've learned from you. But let's be real about it. Listen, do you need it or not? And then how do you close that deal, right? right. Um, but... Yeah, it's it's more mentality than anything else, and that's mm -hmm. what I try. I mean, you see my post. I'm, I'm teaching the kids right out the gate. You know, yep. my kids are 24, 19, and 17. All three of them know how to program. You know, all three of them can load. You know, there are certain areas that I don't let them go on their own. That's just a given. You know, right. but um, hey, I spent this weekend skiing. My my machines were all loaded, and guess what? I didn't touch them this week. There you, you go. Know? Nice. There's no few that the few that needed to be loaded Thursday and Friday. My elders did. Hey, bud, go bang out this machine. You know, nice. and, and and he did it, you know, and, and it's the collective because now when it comes time to help him with flying lessons, hey, guess what? Guess where it came from? Because you loaded that machine. Here it is, you know, yeah. so it, it's delayed gratification. You, know, you, you put in some work and, you know, it's just you keep it in the circle. So let me ask you this. Um, what was your, you speak about mentors and then you found me, what was your biggest concern with uh, becoming a student of mine? Um, accessibility. That, that was my thing. I know I need, I, because I've done this before, I know what I look for. I know the kind of questions I'm going to have. I know my schedule, you know, I know I'm going to have a question at two o'clock in the morning. Do I expect you to answer it at two o'clock in the morning? Absolutely not. But the, the fact that I can fire the question off mm -hmm. and you get to it as soon as you can, you know, because right. of the way we communicate, right, I can right. send it at two o'clock in the morning and I know you're going to get to it at your earliest convenience. Um, yeah. That's beneficial to me. And you know how you learn the best. Exactly. That's it. I know me. I know what I need for we, we're in, uh, With our very first conversation, I think you asked me something similar. What are you looking for? And this is what I felt I needed. And then we went over what we went over. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, I, exactly. I know how I learned and how I absorb information the best. I'm working at two o'clock in the morning. When I finish changing that tire, uh, my schedule I love, you know, um, I get a set schedule for the night. I'm working on a plane. Well, this is what you have. When it takes me two hours or 10 hours, that's what I have for the night. 
Right. Best believe I bang it out in two hours because now I'm double dipping. So now at three o'clock in the morning, I'm researching something else. I'm looking for a deal. I'm looking for a real estate property deal. So while I may have three hats and have multiple jobs, I'm, they're kind of overlapping so that when I punch out, I can still go live. I still can go jump on the jet skis and not worried about, hey, I didn't put in my time. Yeah, yeah I right. put in the time, you know. Um, and, and that's it. So for me, with, with you specifically, was the accessibility that you offered and, and, and maintaining. And now, it's like I said, we've interacted so much where we're friends. You know, we're, we're looking for activities that we're going to interact on personal levels. You know, hey, you know, when you bought your home, I just felt obligated to send that welcome gift as a friend. That was so you know sweet. what I mean? Um, yeah, and, and that's it. So it's um, actually, that's all my mentors. Uh, the three big ones that I did was real estate, paintball, and now ATMs. And uh, my real estate mentor, we've gone to weddings together. Oh, you know, nice. I call him as a friend. You know, he, we've had personal things, you know, life, trials and tribulations where we've called, hey, I'm just checking in on you. You good? Because now they're a personal friend. Right. You know, um, yeah, I mean, you have, my, I, you have my cell phone number. And that's where I find the value. You know, it's <laughs> something, obviously, we have to work to that, right? You know, hey, because not everyone gels. You know, I think your interview process, I think, what's what your question? How cool are you, Bruce Lee, or something like that? <laughs> I think I answered, I'm Vader. <laughs> Vader, yeah, I'm Vader cool. <laughs> um, so it's things like that, you know. Um, you you got to mesh, you know, because yeah. now it's, oh, yeah. if it's a professor-student situation and yeah. it's just lecture, yeah, you may learn, um, but how well are you going to absorb? And yeah. for me, I know, you know, for me, it's more of the personal. You know, I want my circle ever-changing. I want value you know um i got honest i got that from my real estate mentor you know when you provide value without the concern of the return when you genuinely provide it you get it back tenfold yeah. and it's been proven time and time again for me you know that's why i give information away listen you know uh i'm a drag race i used to drag race motorcycles um i just had a unique bike the one that was not so common to drag race mm -hmm. I still, I sold that bike over almost a year ago. I still get questions and I haven't raced in over four years. Um, it's just knowledge and, and I share it, you know, um, and the appreciation comes from that, you know, stuff like that. I'm getting a puppy out of the deal. <laughs> a buddy of mine is drag racing the same motorcycle I drag race. He has French bulldogs. Well, listen, I'll teach you everything I know. I want a puppy. <laughs> so when the time comes, you know, and that's where it is, you know, it, it, the return comes. So, you know, I, I'll talk about what made you finally decide to take the leap and then get started with my training? Um, like I said, I sat on it for a while. Um, for me, the pro and con is that I was financially stable. Not necessarily independent, but stable. Mm -hmm. So it, for me, um, it had to get to the top of my priority list. You know, I just had life events going on that were higher priorities. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I got that stuff situated and I had my mind clear enough to say, okay, this is the top priority now. I have room to take on. I jumped in, you know, I, I did the training, I did the readings, I did the research and I put in the work, you know. Um, That's the big key. That was it. The, the thought process, I think, I think I sat on it for almost a year, mm -hmm. you know. Um, you did. And, and so that's the, so that's my next question. So how long did it take, well, I'm just explain that. How long did it take you to place your first ATM? Oh, let me see. Um, so, I mean, but you sat on the training for a year. I sat on the training for the year. So the time that I actually started with my marketing and trying to actually place, I think I had my first one within a month, two at the most. Yeah. Two at the most. Um, uh, should I mention how? What, well, my go-to with my, my marketing? Uh, I mean, you can if you want to. Um, it, it just happens to work for me. You know, I'm a big proponent of the Facebook marketplace. Mm -hmm. um, all my locations have come from that. I don't advise anyone to put all their eggs in one basket. Um, right. Never, you know, it just happens to work for me with my schedule because again, I wear multiple hats. Um, that's the pro and con of my financial stability. I'm not necessarily hurting, but it doesn't lower my drive. Right. right. You know what I mean? Right. <clears throat> so definitely right. want to emphasize that. And in a, a month to two months, you placed that first machine after you decided, okay, I'm going to do this now. Correct. I, I, are you up to now? Uh, nine actively placed, and I just received units 10 and 11 Friday before I went on vacation. 
Nice. Where are they? Are they going to a new spot or? No, you? now I, now I'm comfortable. Actually, I'm more comfortable having them in my garage than having an empty garage. Uh, right. It was the other way around at first. You know, when you first started. Yeah. You know, yes. When you first starting. Uh, and I would definitely want to clear that up and emphasize that you're first starting, you want to get your location and then order your machines. Now for me, because of where I'm at and how comfortable I am in my process, mm -hmm. an empty garage is uncomfortable for me because yeah. I'll get an, a call today for an install tomorrow or I'll get a call for a weekend event because you know, right. I do both aspects. I do the permanent and the mobile. So for me, one sitting is way one, not, I don't have a car garage full of six machines, you know, so <laughs> one machine sitting in my garage, um, is comfortable. Cause I know I'll probably have both of these places <laughs> at a slow pace, maybe two weeks max. Yeah. You know, that's at a slow place. People need to understand is once you get comfortable and start doing this business, then you know that, okay, if I got a machine sitting in my garage, I can place it like that. Exactly. And that's where I'm at. Uh, starting, you know, that, you're like, yeah. Yeah, there's so many questions exactly. on what's going on, so it's best to get the Correct. location and then get the ATM. Yeah, exactly. So, Correct. And that, that's it. And that's why I'm emphasizing because of where I'm at in my business. Yes, exactly. Right. So, what kind of um, cash flow are you making? If I mean, if it's okay for you to, if you yeah, that's fine. Um, my goal is 300 a unit. My my goal per unit. Um, over the course of them, on average, well, you know, with everything that went on, I. Even with everything going on with our pandemic, I didn't have to pull a single machine. A lot of the locations were closed, but I didn't have to pull any. So I just had to weather the storm. Um, now things are picking back up. Um, where monthly, am I? Monthly, what, uh, what do you think you're at? On the low end, a grand. On the high end, three. So somewhere between one to three per month, depending on uh, everything that's going on with. Uh, for that, I was consistently. So before March, I was consistently doing 15 to two a month. It started, it went significantly down, uh, lower and now it's picking back up where I'm somewhere between one to three a month. Nice. Um, okay. Bitcoin added to that. That helped. Yep. Um, I, yeah, I don't, don't, don't want to share this the right way. Um, I guess, cause it, it's, I think everyone watching will understand that it's not the material, but I have no out of pocket vehicle expense. My ATM cash flow business covers 100% of my vehicles. I had an issue with an uh, old truck that I had. I throw my machines in the truck. I had a pickup truck and a Durango. Well, the pickup truck, I'll, I'll tell you the story <laughs> how this truck came about. Um, I loaded two machines in the pickup truck. I'm going to do a double install, one day, two installs. One was in the hood. So I'm like, okay. If I go load this machine, there's a very likely possibility that that second machine might not be there because it's in an open pickup. So I can't take the pickup, right? <laughs> All right. So I got to take the Durango. I got to take my old, my old beater. All right, the Durango, at least it's enclosed, right? So I take the Durango knowing that this has issues. I get about 15 minutes in and sure enough, it dies. I'm de it's dead in the water, two machines in the back. Now I got to call both business owners. Hey, I'm delayed, yada, 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 10,000 excuses. I made two phone calls. I called the tow truck company and I called the bank. I need a new vehicle. So um, I was at the tail end of uh, life craziness. I didn't want to do vehicle. I've never been a car guy. Um, but my brother was, hey, you deserve something. You deserve it. Go get it. Blah, blah, blah. I love Durango's. New Durango. Oh, uh, no. Short version, Gary. The truck was 44000 out the door. Used. But one location. My hotel covers the car note, covers the insurance, and has some left over. So my brother was like, hey, but what, isn't the hotel doing really well? I was like, yeah, it does about seven a month, seven, eight a month. How much does it do? About seven, eight a month. A third time. How much does it do? About seven. Oh, there's my truck payment. Right. <laughs> so, um, so, so to go over the numbers, you know, again, it's not the material, guys. It's the fact that the past the vehicle that I've generated on one machine covers my company vehicle. You know, did I need a $40,000 vehicle to do it? Absolutely not. No, not at all. This was all some more personal things that were on. It was a want, it was um, some personal things that were going on in life and just a reward to myself. Yeah, I worked hard. This is what I did. Sure. And so what I tell people, mindset, right? Um, I got that from Robert Kiyosaki, rich dad, poor dad. You know, not poor people, the poor mind says, I can't afford it. The rich mind says, how do I afford it? 
afford it. You know, again, not poor people, poor mind. I can't afford it versus how do I afford it? So now how do I afford a $40,000 vehicle? I put a cash flow system in place that covers the note. So what I teach people, I, didn't, I don't have a $40,000 truck. I have a truck that cost me $2,500. What the cost of one machine. Yep. It pays for the machine. So the, the drawback with that is that my machines are scattered so far across the state of Florida that uh, that truck kills me in gas. So <laughs> not, the, not the smartest purchase. So don't do what I did. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> But that's the goal, though, to have your your ATMs pay your cash flow pay for your life, like pay our, for things. Our, yeah, our mortgage payment, our car payment, ATM. Yeah. Well, to add to it, so now, what, where, how do I recharge my batteries? You said it. I'm on my skis all the time, so I needed the truck to pull my skis, not just load my machines. So yeah. I'm pulling my skis. So I needed a reliable machine because I'll put my, this weekend. I pulled my skis four hours south of Florida. You know, so I want it reliable that can handle a four hour haul. Well. There it is. I got something reliable that my machines cover, you know, um, so it, it works out, but, um, you know, so yeah, anywhere between one to three a month. So you're making let's say, <laughs> 2000, 3000 a month. What's your goal with 18? Um, you know, part of the training where I, I figured out my number, I have to revisit that. Uh, cause that, it, it constantly changes for me. Yeah. You know, um, I knew what it was to replace my JetBlue income. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, do I just want to do that? You know, at what point do I want to do that? You know, what's important to me? Not necessarily material or toys, but what, what is life for me? You know, and, and what do I want to achieve? Um, a friend of mine, one of my supporters, uh, she always, one of my biggest friends, anytime I post something, she's one of the first people to comment, you know, hashtag yacht life. You know, <laughs> I'll never own a yacht. <laughs> I have no desire to own a yacht. But we're down in Marco Island this weekend and yachts were everywhere. So she took a picture of me and uh, we joked. He's like, well, there it is, yacht life. And I took a picture by the yacht and I was like, only 300 machines to go. <laughs> 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 only 300 more machines to go. So, you know, it's one of the things where I revisit the training. So I have to go back and look at what that specific number is. Uh, for me, it's more of a date. You know, I, again, August 6th of 2021, I want to at least be in a position to make the decision. I seriously doubt that I'll walk away. But again, the important part is that the decision will be mine by that point um well, so what Jeff Lou, you mean yes correct so um my immediate goal for also my initial goal was one machine a month uh one machine a month i thought that was a comfortable pace for me um i'm about three months ahead of schedule because again it'll be october and i already have 11. Yeah. Uh, i could have ordered 12 psychologically i wanted to do it um but there was no reason to push it you know i'll have two sitting i'll place those two when i place one Guess what? I'll probably order number 12, you know, so that I'm always sitting on one at some point. Um, but, you know, that's the importance of that, of having a goal. I could have just said some arbitrary number. Uh, I remember being on your coaching calls and listening to the other students that had 10. You know, I was like, oh, man, you know, I haven't even placed my first yet. And, man, 10. Oh, I can't wait. Well, less than a year. Here I am. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I got, I got to sit there and really put, put, an, uh, put a number to it. You know, I, I honestly don't think of it anymore. Now I just, I mark it. And if I have to order three this week, I'll order three this week. If I have to order one, I'll order one, you know, but um, with all the training, be in a position to do that. Cause you know, cash flow is, is a concern for a lot. You know, how do I, how do I fund it? You mm -hmm. know, mentality again, with all these mentors. Um, uh, that's another one that I learned from Robert Kiyosaki. There's a significant difference between good credit and bad credit. You know, um, and without going into teachings or, you know, trying to steer someone the wrong way, you know, use all available resources, you know, and that's it. You know, the short version, yeah, if it's a $50 payment, but it's generating $300 a month, hello, that, yeah. <laughs> that, that's simple math right there. And you know you what, know? let me tell you something um, about that, Will. I used, to, I used to be like this, and I'll, I'll, I'll share this with everybody right now on your, on your, uh, student success story. I used to be like, you know what? Don't go into debt to start this business. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And then I'm like, that's how I started. Like I, I started that. Like I started with cash advantage on credit card, two credit cards and a um, small line of credit for my real estate business. And, but so I'm like, no, don't do, it, don't do it. And then I saw, I don't know if it's saw Daniel's post where he said he's up to 14 ATMs. Now he's making 5,000 a month now from his ATMs. And, 
you know, right? And then I'm like, yeah. oh, that's awesome. But then I started reading in the comments yeah. and he, he used credit and debt and what to, to do it. And then I'm like, mm -hmm. maybe I should tell, stop telling people that because that's how a lot of us are smart and getting to where we want to be, you know? Okay. It, the big part of that is the discipline. Again, that, he purchased a machine. He purchased one machine. It's 25. And again, that card payment is $50 a month, but you got it in a location that's generating three. That's a no brainer. If you're disciplined enough to do it. You don't take that card and go on a vacation. You don't take that card and buy new wheels for your truck. Exactly. You know, you don't buy toys. You know, um, you're using other people's money the right way. To build your um, business. Yeah. To build your business. You know, uh, I, was, I, I grew up with it where I did it the wrong way. You know, life lessons learned. You know, dug myself out of the toys and, and uh, depreciating assets and stuff like that. Learned those lessons and now older, smarter to realize, okay, hold on. It's available. It's a resource yeah. if you use it you're the right, right way. You're 100% yeah. right. Um, I mean, you're right. The big part, Carrie, that I, I don't think I've ever shared, and I, I'm not sure if you know, but I'll share it with you now. My business is 100% debt-free. Right. I don't own any, I don't owe anything on any of my machines. All my machines are paid off. Uh, I'm sorry, the last two I just paid because I, I ordered them last week, so right. I got to make the statement. I get the points and pay the, pay the statement. So I owe two machines, and that'll be paid off next week. Yeah. Um, but that and all my feed money is 100% mine. Um, I don't pull out of the business. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yep, yep. Okay. I don't pull out of the business. 100% of my profit stays in. All I do is pay for the vehicle. Other than that, you know, okay, so that's 600. But what did I say? I'm between one to 3,000 a month. So mm -hmm. every month I'm adding roughly $1,500 a month to my feed money. You know, so, nice. okay, I order one more machine. Next month I'll have the thousand to put into it. If yeah. it's a banger and I need more, okay, I'll figure that out tomorrow. But I've not been in position to ever have to say no or worry. Can I handle, you know what I mean? Uh, I'll take on the contract and figure it out later. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'll take it out. I want those problems. I want yeah. to figure those things it's out. It's um, <laughs> a good problems to have, you know? Yeah. Um, and, and, and that's it. Again, and the biggest part of that is mentality and the stuff that I've learned through mentorships over the years. Um, it, it, it's not overnight. It, it, as you know, and as you teach, it, it's not a marathon. So this is stuff that I've learned. It's a marathon, it's not a sprint. I'm sorry, it's not a sprint. 100% right. You know, it's not a sprint. It is a marathon. Um, you know, and the big part, I probably spend as much time training my mind as I do with everything else. You know, I love music, but I'll balance that time with listening to music in the car and listening to something that's going to feed my brain. There you go. You know, um, it, it's just we're, we're always learning. You know, we don't know it all. You know, I know that I was at a point where I knew enough to be dangerous. I don't feel dangerous anymore, but I'm still positive there's things that I need to learn. Right. You know, I'm definitely humble enough to say I can learn more. You know, yeah. Um, actually, yeah, I let made a mistake ask, last week. Let me ask you this: what, what was what what part of the the training was most helpful for you? Um, let's see. The most. Oh, uh, the easy stuff, the, uh, no, the easy stuff. The most helpful was actually the contract, right out the gate, the first thing. Okay, there it is. Um, yes, yeah, so the, the, the paperwork, that, that was the biggest part that I got of it because I'm starting from scratch. I had nothing. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, the mentality was similar. There. I knew the stuff that I had to learn, but that was complete new. No idea. I've never had a contract before, uh, what the right paperwork was, stuff like that. So that was the big part uh, that I took away from. The other stuff was more of, the light bulb moments. Yep. Okay. That's how that's done. Okay. Yep. That's how that's done. Oh, I thought about that. And I'm thinking, oh, she confirmed. Yeah. That's the thought that I had. Oh, I agree with what she was saying, but what stuff that I was completely blind to was the paperwork. Um, so the paperwork, the processing, you know, the, I guess the behind the scenes, you know, the stuff that goes on to get the stuff started, you know, um, the processor, who's that, you know, the programming stuff like that. Um, that's the stuff. The front side, the, the marketing, the advertisement, the mindset, the, the visions to not quit, that stuff I was comfortable with. So for me, it was the logistics, the paperwork, where to order them from, you know, the stuff that uh, your vendors that you vetted, you know, having that all in one spot was the big benefit to me. Cool. Okay. You know, to, just to basically have the one resource, the one-stop shop. This is everything that I need right here, right in front of me. Now learn it. Right. You know what I mean? Awesome. Cool. So 
What's it like having a successful ATM business? And like, how, how does it impact you? <laughs> That's it. It's because when you asked me about this, I was like, uh, I've, I've, I've not labeled it that yet, you know. Um, successful, yeah, because it's up and running and it's generating a profit. Sure. Uh, you know, that's, everyone's going to define that differently, right? You know, so I just haven't got to that point where I have felt that for me. So when you sound like, Carrie, I'm a year in, <laughs> I got 10. But now, all right, let's break it down. It's profitable. It's debt free. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> That's success, my friend. <laughs> Those are definitions. <laughs> There's definitions of success there, so uh, I couldn't argue. So I was like, okay, let's let's hey, let's have a let's have a Zoom call, Carrie. Let's go for it. Um, um, I, I enjoy it. Um, the people that I get to meet, you know, just I'm a helper, uh, just by nature. You know, um, I have trouble listening because I want to jump in and help right away. So give me the first two sentences, okay? I'll, I'll come up with a solution. Let me help. Um, so that's one of the things that I had to learn about. And personal growth will shut up, <laughs> shut up and listen. You know, don't listen just to reply, to respond, listen to absorb. And sometimes people just need an ear. So, um, um, so yeah, so that's, that's the stuff. So what I love is again, when I post something, my inbox blows up. How do I do it? How do I get involved? All right. Well, these are the steps, not necessarily giving the information away. It's more of mentality. Where are you with your mentality? You know, get your mind right. You know, because is it what's that old uh, wise tale? You know, teach a man to fish, uh, feed, give a man a fish, you feed him one time, teach him the fish, you feed him for life. Yeah. And that's it. You know, I honestly got that again. The, I go back to my real estate mentor. That was the start of my mentality change, my, my thought processes. But I've been able to apply that in so many aspects of my life. You know, 2017 was one of the most challenging times I've had with just a, a Inside of six months, I had four losses. Uh, marriage did a few deaths inside of six months. And people looked at me, well, how the hell did you smile? Mentality, don't get me wrong, I was hurting. I was hurting something terrible, you know, but what choice? You know, there's no, you can't just throw the hands up and woe is me, you know, so you take whatever positives you can in life and chug along. So again, I can't emphasize mentality and mindset, you know, because you can apply it to everything. So we're, we're yeah. With will and action. So you were talking about mindset. Um, we were talking about you having, we, we, we had a little uh, technical issues, guys. So now we're back. You were talking about <laughs> successful ATM business and how it impacted you and, and mindset because in 20, 2017, you had a, um, I think you said six losses? I had some charges. Uh, so four, four losses, four personal losses in, uh, in a six month period. Um, and, you know, their family members, uh, obviously, they don't want me suffering or things are. So, I, you know, I mourn the way I mourn, but the mindset of helping to, all right, let's move forward. Let's let's continue to chug along. Let's overcome the obstacles. Let's not just throw our hands up and give up. You know, yeah. it, it, it came into fruition. You know, and this is stuff that I learned because I wanted to be successful at real estate. It helped me in life. So, again, that's why I emphasize so much mindset because you can implement it in so many aspects of what it is that you're doing. Oh, gotcha. you know, so. To me, uh, the mindset is so huge because, again, it's just it's it's multi-purposeful. Yeah, no doubt. So, w what what do you think as far going back to the training itself? What do you think? Why do you think you've done so well with it? Um, my why, um, my why. It's just literally life after blue. You know, again, I love what I do, but I know that I don't want to do it forever. So I have to be able to mainstay maintain my lifestyle. Um, I'm just not a big believer in waiting on social security. You know, yeah. I, I don't want to grind. I've seen other technicians, um, one in particular, uh, one of the techs, one of our inspectors, Carrie, he was 88 years old and still working. You know, uh, I think it was because of medical issues. Uh, he just needed the medical coverage. Um, and I adored him. I mean, the, the abundance of knowledge out of this guy, and he was yeah. so willing to, to share that. But I know I don't want to do that. Yeah. You know, if I 88, I'm not surrounded by great grandbabies. I did something wrong. You know what I mean? So you know, <laughs> I feel like most people don't want to do that. It's just the no. majority of them have to because they don't plan for it like you're doing. And that's it. So uh, because of the stuff that I've gotten into, because of the thought process of, again, wanting to be as successful as possible in the shortest period of time, that's where I'm at. That's where the thought process of that comes in where – 
that's the grind. That's, um, you know, why has to be big enough? You know, it can't be because I want more money because that's easy to walk away from. Yep, totally. It's too easy to walk away from, you know. Um, I'd go as far as, you know, for a lot of people, oh, well, I want to be X, Y, Z for my kids. Oh, well, you know what? That's easy, kind of easy to walk away, maybe a little bit more, but it's easy to walk away from too because, again, they're going to grow up to be adults and they're going to live their own lives. So, again, you have to have it where it's so important that the moment you say, for me, B6 or life after blue, okay, I got to go grind. You know, it, it really is that easy to flip that switch. Man, I don't want to load that machine today. I want to do it tomorrow. Life after blue, go do it today because some other obstacle is going to pop up tomorrow. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. Tomorrow you're going to wake up with a flat tire and you can't load that machine when you want to and now it ran empty. You know, so I'm a big proponent of the moment I, oh, I don't want to, I do it anyway. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Why, that why is so important. I, I tell a lot of people, if your why don't make you cry, maybe it's not strong enough. That, that's it. A hundred percent. You know, it's, uh, you gotta feel it. You gotta feel it. You gotta feel it. You gotta feel it. You know, mm -hmm. um, we, we lost the tech recently to, uh, to COVID and I knew him personally and that, and that hit home. Uh, so for me that started the, okay, hold on. Yeah. I'm teaching the kids, but do they know the specifics? Yeah. They know how to load, but do they know that, you know, this one is generating this one and this one's generating that and this real estate property is over here and this is how much your cash flows and what my insurance dollar is. Well, I'm thinking you're getting this amount, but they, the power that B says, hey, you're only getting that. Well, dad said it was this, so they set those red flags off. You know, so yeah. having, people don't have those conversations. So I sat with my kids about two weeks ago and literally, hey, if dad dies tomorrow and oh, it was, Carrie, it was emotional. It was an emotional conversation, but, um, you know, I love movies. I got it from uh, Black Panther. You know, uh, King, the king told his son, a father who has not prepared his children for his own death has failed them. So yeah. when you put those two, you know, that saying and losing the technician, and he was younger than I was, it just hit for me. I was like, hold wow. on. All right, listen. Hey, guys, you guys got to come over tonight. And they came over. And you can see the concern. Like, first of all, dad's okay. But yeah. this is the stuff we got to talk about. And we had a very uncomfortable conversation, but you know, it's, you have to prepare, you have to prepare your know, why has to be that important. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's, again, it was, it was uncomfortable, but it, it, it was a necessity. So now there's oh. no question. Now there's no question, you know, and continue the, the, the thought process, the teaching process. Okay. Listen, now you know about this, but now we have to get behind the meat and potatoes, you know, you yeah. know where they are. But now you have to know how to program. You have to know how to install, which I've been doing more with my boys. Daddy's little girl, I have to adjust to that. You know, dad, daddy's little <laughs> princess, daddy's going to take care of her. And I was like, no, that's not really the right mentality either. Come on, let's go. You got to hustle too. Yeah. So, uh, I was like, dad, or you're going to depend on your brothers. <laughs> you figure out which, which one you want to do. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so we're teaching daddy's little girl um, uh, more of the details and stuff behind it and, and again, it goes back to the why. You know, good. know yeah. the my why. You got to do it. Yeah, I mean, because of all this stuff and all things like that that are happening, like I'm updating all my end of life stuff saying, okay, yeah. this, is, this is what's going on. And you never know. That's it. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm essential times three. You know, JetBlue has me as an essential worker. The ATM business is considered as essential. Yeah. And, and <laughs> as a landlord, I'm essential. You know, that AC goes out. I have to make sure that my tenant is okay. So yeah. all three of my business has, has me, all three of my businesses have me out there running around so yeah you, know, you have to stay protected you want to be not i'm going to err on the side of caution and and basically be as prepared as possible so no doubt yeah and that's it so so what's, there, there's the why you know what's your your favorite part of the the atm business so far um for me it's the the hunt the getting of the deal you know um, I'm not motivated by money at all. You know, again, I'm content where I at. I do want more. I continue to strive for more, but that doesn't drive me. Um, I posted a video about that a while ago. I'll, I'll send the link to you. Um, I had that conversation with my daughter trying to teach her. And she's like, you know, dad, you know, real estate doesn't, um, I'm not passionate about real estate. And I told her, I was like, baby, I, I had to think about it for a while. And it, it clicked. I was like, I'm not either. I'm not passionate about real estate. I'm not passionate about my ATM business. Don't get me wrong. I get hype when I get my deals, mm -hmm. but it's the life that I'm allowed to live because of them that I'm passionate about. The things that I'm able to do. And again, not material. Um, my thing right now is I go jet skiing on the weekend, but the people that I meet 
while I'm jet skiing. The conversations that I'm having, the networking, that's what I put value in. You know, that, those are the interactions that I like. Um, in that video, I said, you know, when I get to the point where money is no longer a concern or issue, what would I want to do with my time? I think I want to volunteer in some sort of animal outreach program, whether it's a rescue facility or something like that. Uh, what particular animal? I don't know. I just know that's what I want to do. Yeah. Well, I tell that to people all the time. If money was no longer a factor, what would you do? Well, get the money part out of the way then. <laughs> you know? yeah. Get right. it out of the way and do what you want to do. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Um, teach my kids, you know, retirement is not associated with an age. That's the old thought process where you got to be 65 to retire. No, you just got to be financially independent. So get it out yep. of the way. You know, yep. my, my son wants to build a car. He, oh, I don't know why he wants to build a Corvette, but he, I'm trying to get him out of that, but he wants a Corvette. So guess what? I just want to spend time with my son in the garage. So, hey, let's get it out of the way. Let's get these vehicles done. Let's get your flight training done. Let's, get, let's build these ATMs so we can go build the garage and get the lift and buy the tools and go build the kit. And so that's what I'm passionate about. The fact yeah. that eventually I'm going to spend time in a garage with my son yeah. on a Tuesday afternoon turning wrenches, you know, <clears throat> while music is playing in the background. That's what I'm striving for. That's the well, goal. That, that's gold right there because I, I, I try to explain to people. I'm like, look, you're, you're not going to get it. There's going to come a point where you're not excited about the ATM business. That's not going to be what wakes you up in the morning. Yeah. You need to figure out what's going to wake you up in the morning. But the ATM business and the cash flow from it is going to allow you to do that. And, and that's big. And, and that, it, I saw the light bulb go off for her. And you know she's still interested. But that's where the daddy protection comes in. She knows daddy's going to take care. So that's where I have to switch it up with her a little bit. Um, no regrets. It's just oh, we got to make an adjustment there. You know, everything with me was all with my boys. Okay, the boys, you guys got to take care of the household. You know, you, you got to take over the reins when daddy goes and make sure the family's okay. Mm. And daddy's little girl is going to be protected. I had to adjust that. No, you have to be able to do this on your own too. You, yeah. know, you have to adjust. So, and that's it. So again, none of this drives me. It's what it what I'm allowed to do because of it. Hundred percent. That's the driver for me. You that's know, and, huge. And I want everybody it. paying attention to what you just said there because that yeah. is major right there. Yeah. Passion project and then figure out how to fund the rest of your life so that you can do your passion projects, you know, whatever it is. You know, yeah. get the money out of the way, ride the vehicle till the wheels fall off, get that done, and then go do your passion. You know, exactly. I happen to be lucky where one of my passions is aviation, so it, hey, I'm generating cash with my passion. Right. So again, it makes it easier for me to do. But even with that, even with doing what I love every day, I know I still don't want to do it for the next 30 years of my life. So right. I'm figuring out life after blue. So yeah. that's what I tell people, you know, it, it, it goes back to your why, right? You know, what is your why? You know, hey, I want to spend X amount of time over here, but I have to pay the bills. Absolutely. I get it. Well, figure out how to get that done and then yeah. go play, you know, right. whatever your definition of play is, you know, um, I, I don't know. I, I think it's some sort of exotic animal. I, I honestly, I don't know, you know, I, what animal it is, but I love animals. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, um, I used to be want, want to be a marine biologist. I wanted to work with killer whales and orcas. Uh, wow. but, you, think, um, you know, will I go spend some time? Who knows? I, I tell, as I got older, my, my thought process has changed towards sea world. Yes. No, I, I don't know, but you know, some sort of program, you know, uh, go tag some sharks. <laughs> Who knows? Some sort of research. Yeah. Um, but the thing, the point is, at some point, I know I'll get to a position where I can make that choice. Yes. Whatever the choice is going to be made, all right, I'm not going to sweat that detail right now. I'm going to get to a position where I can, okay, today I want to go rescue this animal. Right. Today I want to go, you know, we have a, a, oh, a lemur sanctuary not too far from me that I took my granddaughter to. Nice. That was great. That was great. So do I spend a day you know, cleaning some lemur cages? I don't know. But, you know, the choice is going to be mine. Yeah, and no doubt. that's where the passion comes from. And your, that's where the and drive your, comes from. And your vehicles, like the ATM business, real estate, all of those vehicles give you that choice and that freedom, that's, which is so huge. I, I, I need people to understand that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not the machine itself. It's not the cash itself. It's what it allows me to do. Exactly. You know, um, 
you know, I, I picked up a second ski recently. So uh, this, I did, I definitely got this. All, every toy that I've ever gotten into is from my dad. He's introduced me to every fun thing that I've ever done. Um, the reason I bring this up is because I was able to take my daughter and my granddaughter out for the first time uh, about a month ago. Carrie, I'll send you a picture. Uh, it's actually my profile picture on Facebook. My granddaughter fell asleep on the handlebars. Oh my god! On the ride back in, you know, she she was so drained she didn't even make it back to the marina. She fell asleep on the handlebars, and that's it. That's, that's a good day. The why? That's the why. The fact that you know, during the middle of a pandemic, I can pick up a toy that's allowing me to spend quality time again. Not the toy, guys. The quality time that I used with that toy the quality time that i generated using that toy listening to my granddaughter yell papa go faster you know that was it that's where the motivation comes in that's where the drive comes in that's where the passion comes from atms allowed me to do this JetBlue allowed me to do this real estate allowed me to do that all of that combined yeah it's and then that's it when you put that together you look at it that way Again, it's, it's a switch. Oh, I don't want to do this today. Life after blue. All right, we got to go. Right. <laughs> you know? I love it. You know? I love it. That, yeah. that was huge. That was like, that was a huge golden nugget right there. I hope yeah. everybody picked, picked, picked that up, but you were throwing down, you know? Yeah. Um, what would you say to someone who, okay, so they're looking to start an ATM business. They're looking for a mentor. What would you say to someone who's considering working with me, but they're, you know, maybe they're on the fence? Oh, stop. Pull the trigger. Um, what is it? All, all the, go back to the cliches. Michael Jordan, you miss a, 100% of every shot you don't take. Right? You, know, you have to take the shot to hit or miss. Um, people ask me, I, Kerry, I've yet to come up with a negative. Now, yeah, there's some headaches, but not a single negative that's a deterrent that I'll outright say, no, I regret doing this or I shouldn't have done that. I, I can't come up with one. You know, um, yeah, I can't. You know, there's just all positives that come out from it. Um, is it easy? Yeah, that's relative. I'd say it's easy. It's work. But all right, at the end of the day, what am I doing? I'm installing four bolts, five, six bolts. You know, I'm, yeah. putting, I'm putting it in a slot. You know, that stuff, there's so much stuff that's so much more difficult to do out there. You know, so again, when I look at the work that I've put in, and I go back and I listen to, and I replay my granddaughter's voice in my head, Papa, go faster. It's cake. You know, when this gives me that, it's cake. You know, it's yeah. easy. So someone on the fence, you know, pull the trigger. You won't regret it. You know, it's, um, there are no regrets for me. I, I can't come up with a single negative. You know, um, I'm big on mentorships, and you've made yourself available. And, you know, I, like I said, I have your personal cell. We are now friends. You yeah. know, um, and that's huge to me. And that, that, that's how I learn and changing my circle. Uh, what do they say? The other cliche is your life will most likely resemble the five people you're around the most. Yeah. <laughs> Look who I have direct access to. You know what I mean? Um, and it's those things. You know, it, it's, it's the support system. It, it's, it's the help. It's the, 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 like you said, the freedom that's going to come with making minute changes. It, it's, it's not a, monumental change you know, right. it's a little tweak here and there you know push a little bit further you know don't settle for the no well you know, to an extent you know this is all I'll write no okay don't waste your time but don't allow that no to deter you to stop you know oh, I mean? yeah. and that's the difference that's the difference that's what I'm trying to emphasize you know um, so anyone on the fence I'm content I'm, I'm uh, I have nothing negative to say. Uh, Carrie, you've been monumental in, in helping with this aspect. Um, you've given me everything that I've wanted. The most amount of work in the shortest period of time. I don't think that I go hard with this at all, and I've surpassed my goal. You know, one a month was the goal. I'm at 11, and I still have three months to go before my first full year. Yeah. Um, and again, that's with me. That's during a pandemic with me not pushing. Right. You know, with one source of marketing, you know, I've yet to go door to I, and I'm reluctant to say certain things. I don't want to deter people certain ways, but you know, for me sharing my story, I've, my son has knocked on more doors than I have, you know, <laughs> um, are they all at three? No, but they're averaging, you know, some's a little higher, some are a little lower. Right. And, 
that's in your training. You know, that's all a personal choice. The, you know, the variables, how far it is, you know, how frequently do I have to mm-hmm. fill it? You know, what am I willing to deal with? Um, one of the biggest things that I appreciated from your business is how quickly you instill that it's my business. Yes, I'm learning from you, but at the end of the day, the decision's mine. Right, you know, exactly. If I, const- if I construct a deal that it works and it makes sense for me, whether you agree or not, you're all for it because it works for me. Exactly. You know? But you still have my back to make sure that I'm not hurting myself. Yes, yes. You know, so, and, and that's it. So that, that, that's huge. That, that, and, that. and another big thing is, I feel like sometimes this, some, some students don't understand this, but sometimes I tell them to do certain things so they learn how to do it on, on their own and they feel comfortable with following a certain process to do it on their own because what happens if I'm no longer here? Correct. Mm-hmm. It's a, you need to do it on your own. You need to be able to troubleshoot the problem. You mm-hmm. need to be able to call support and walk through with support on the phone to fix your problem. You need to be able right. to do all yeah. the stuff on your own. So it's yeah. not Carrie being a jerk. Yeah. It's Carrie it's trying to teach you. <laughs> yeah. uh, it, it's, it's teaching them to fish. Yes, yeah. I can say, Carrie, how do I do X, Y, Z? And Carrie will say, it's done like this. Or look at it over here and find the resource and learn it. You know? mm-hmm. I'm comfortable now where I'm starting to look at used machines. Leaven in before I even considered it, you know. Um, I just didn't want to take that on. I like the peace of mind of brand new unit, low maintenance. You know, mm-hmm. impossible. No, I've had a paper jam, and that was a bent bill. You know, um, yeah. no way around that. You have to go to the machine to repair that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't restart and control or delete that one. Um, so you have to go. But I had to learn to know what to look for. You know, right. the the EMV upgrade. You see that the, how many bricks are out there for five hundred dollars? You, you can't use them. <laughs> oh, it's a great deal. Five, yeah, but it's useless. It's a paperweight. Right. You know, it's a boat anchor. You know, had to learn that stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, so um, so now I'm in a position where I'm comfortable enough to pick. I still purchase new because I'm lazy, <laughs> but <laughs> you know, it's my peace of mind. Okay, here. If I come across a deal, at least I know what to look for because I took the time to learn you right. know, uh, how to replace parts. You know, my machines are new, so I haven't had to replace anything yet. But at some point, I am going to have to pull a board out or, you know, pull out a reader or something like that. Yep. I'm comfortable with that, you know. And I, I should have the point. And for folks that aren't tech savvy or, don't, or, or, or not airplane mechanics, there are videos <laughs> in the training that walk you through how to do those things. All, all of them, step by step. Yeah. So now I'm at a point, all right, do I still, what? Actually, I was going to save that for a coaching call, but I was like, you know, what do I start stockpiling? You know, where am I? Because my, my oldest unit is coming up on a year. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, so what do I keep on hand? Do I keep a card reader? Do I, you know, you know, the, the little plastic uh, spool that holds the paper. I don't know why, but I have such a fear of losing that one that comes with the machine. I'm like, well, somewhere in the transition, it's going to happen this week, I guarantee it. You're going to lose that damn spool on the way to an install. So, so every time I look at that little black spool, I'm like, oh, I got to order some of those. <laughs> you know, and that'll probably be my first spare part. But, you know, at some point, you know, um, you'll be people in the business that have their, their businesses are this big. And, and you know, that information's there. And you'll. Know, what better resource to come to than someone who's been doing it? What, what are you, 10 years in? 2009. Nine, okay. So a little over 10. No, you're good. 11 so, years. Uh, 11 years. As of, as of the recording um, of this video, it's 2020. Yeah. So, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure you've changed the card reader or two. Oh. You know, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> Actually, I'm sure you have. Day, uh, just the other day, I, I, I literally took out, I took apart my first card reader. So I've changed okay. card readers, like changed them. But the mm-hmm. other day, my right. first time, I literally took it apart. And uh, mm-hmm. I'm going to do it yeah. again to record a video for you guys. Okay. I'm a year in, and I just found the little hole for the card release. <laughs> and I'm a year in. I'm like, hey, some, stick a pin in it. What pin in the hell? What are they talking about? <laughs> and I go to my machine. Oh, that pin, that hole. Okay. <laughs> so so that, could I possibly tell a business owner over the phone, hey, they've got a card reader stuck, and it's you know, 11 o'clock at night. Hey, stick a paper clip in there. Will, will that release? You know, do I want to say that or do I want to run out? You know, we'll figure that stuff out. But uh, again, knowledge or, that's still or coming. Unplug the machine and plug it back in. It'll plug it back in. Yeah, you know. it'll shut that car, card reader right out. That card exactly. Right out. So, you know, that that stuff. Yeah, so a year in, still learning. You know, uh, and that came from another studio. I just saw it. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, I ran down to the garage. Oh, there's a hole there. 
<laughs> you know, and I'm successful. <laughs> but again, the, the learning uh, and the learning yeah. and the sharing, man, it, uh, that's that's huge. You know, your private your Facebook your private Facebook group. You know, oh, that's uh, cool. Like that's you guys motivation, are motivation tips. I mean, you you name it, it's there. You know, um, I love how so supportive, so supportive everybody is of each other yeah. in that in that group. But not only in that group, but on the coaching calls. Like mm -hmm. I, I love when I'm we're on a coaching call and a student will be like, "Oh, well, like, how's Kim doing?" You know, because maybe right. Kim was on for the past for five weeks talking about this, and then for whatever reason she's not on this week, and they're like, "What's Kim's update?" I love that that everybody's so supportive and like on each other's right. side. You know, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, and then I said that that's 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 the little pieces that when you put them all together, they're just a huge monumental value. You know, yeah. it's, it's a little bit here and a little bit there, and you put it all together, it's the complete package. You know, it's, it's all in one. It's the one stop shop. You know, so it's it's a huge benefit. So anyone, it, it's worth it. It's worth it. You'll see it right away. Just in the training itself. Again, for me, it was the paperwork and the logistics in the background. To someone else, it might be the um. The coaching for the the conversation, the conversational coaching, how to talk to him. I obviously I have no problem speaking. No, you do not. <laughs> I have no problem speaking. So you know, while there was still the script and I still learned, yeah. that was not where I needed my most help from. Right. For right. your other student, that might be. Oh my! No, there's no way. I, you know, that's the obstacle. You know, public yeah. people have a big fear of public speaking, and you know, yeah, it's a one on one. But you know, I've done it. You know, even with me being as comfortable as I am talking. I've sat in my car for minutes at a time. I have knocked. And I've just, uh, uh, they're going to say no. They don't need one. They, oh, who uses cash these days? You know what I'm saying? They're psyching myself out. I'm like, yeah. yeah. So um, I, I don't have that anymore. You know, And this is with me not being afraid to talk, but to yeah, sit there yeah, and yeah. crack that door, open that business door and say, hey, hi, who's the owner? Yeah, it's the owner here. Match me to the manager. You know, I, I've had the fear. You know, but you know, repetition. You yeah, know, just, repetition. You know, understand that you're going to have rejection. Accept it and move forward. Yeah, you know, it, it's it really is that simple. You know, yeah. and we're, and we're here to help you. We're here to help you improve each week. You know, each it's not, each day. You know, yeah, it's not personal. You know, um, like, like mentors, Gary Vaynerchuk. I, I I had huge daddy issues, and he taught me how to let some of those things go. You know, and the part that, I, that touches here is it's not personal when the business owner says no, or you hear no from the bank, you know, it's not personal, you know, anyone's opinion. It's only you give it value. You know, you yeah. can sit there and say I'm X, Y, Z, but unless I believe it, it, it carries no weight. So, you know, don't be deterred. Don't be deterred. You know, take on the mentorship. Someone is sitting on the bubble. You're going to get the support you need. Um, it's sad we live in a society where a lot of the support, the biggest support comes from strangers, you know, and yeah. you see with our group, you see with you're, our group, you know, you're right. but build off it. So what? Okay. It comes from a bunch of strangers, build on that, get your success, get to where you got to get to. I guarantee you the people around will start looking. Mm -hmm. you know, so whatever your resource is, you know, use, uh, use all available resources. No you know, if they're there, put them to use. So would you do it all over again? Everything. Absolutely, without without hesitation, sooner, sooner. Remember, I, I I had the thought process. I oh man, I've been trying to figure out when I first thought about this, and this is easily over fifteen years ago because I was still in New York when I had the thought. I know I was in New York when I had the thought process of, oh, what's what's an ATM do? I don't know how I knew that you didn't have to be a, a bank to own an ATM, um, and I probably dismissed it as fast as I thought about it. But it was easily over fifteen years ago. So yeah, the biggest thing is. Over again, significantly sooner. Yeah, a lot of people without, say hesi yeah. without hesitation. You know, um, yeah. it, it's fun. It, it, for me, it's the chase. You know, like I said, I get hype over the deals. That I do. I was like, oh, got another one. You know, um, again, taking the steps to that number, whatever that number is for me, and part of the training covers that. And I, I got to re, I got to revisit that. Right. The, the fact that it's there. It's not like you have access for a week. I sat on it for a year. Yeah. And I, I logged back in and sure enough it was there and, and I got through it. So, um, you know, uh, I've been saying for weeks now that I got to go through it and just a refresher. You know, you're not going to absorb it all the very first time. Right. You know, so that's the benefit of having it there and readily available. 
you know, yeah. so to be go to go over it and, and review and constantly have it there. I'm sure, excuse me, that there's something that I'm going to pick up this time that I didn't pick up the first time. Right. So. And you'll be, I don't know if you know this yet, but I'm going to be redoing a lot of it and put, bring, moving it over to a new membership site. So there's going to okay. be a lot of new stuff again. Right. <laughs> cool, cool. I'm excited about it. So I, I, I'm assuming I get access to the new stuff too. Of course, everybody does. <laughs> exactly. Sure. And they see that um, those are the benefits, you know, yeah, the, okay. the new and improved, you know, um, you know, the stuff that we share, you can do another, I know you're doing another video on the software update, you know, you're doing a specific video on the Bitcoin update, you know, the stuff that's constantly, that's constantly evolving and changing. Yeah. Know? And I got another new something, something up my sleeve. I'll be sharing with you guys soon too. Okay. See, it is just it's it just adds value. You know? <laughs> yeah, you know? that's it. So cool. Definitely right, jump so in. I know I've been keeping you. See, you are good at talking. I'm good at talking. I love talking to you. <laughs> We're like, we all can, night. <laughs> we can talk forever. You know what I mean? Yes, so, we can. Um, you're a good guy, man. You really are. Appreciate you. Appreciate and, uh, you. I appreciate you, and I, I just want to know. I, I want you to be able to rest and be able to do what you need to do today. But any, mm -hmm. do you have any final words for anybody? Anything? Any words of wisdom? Start, plain and simple. Just start. You know, you, you'll figure out. Don't look at the whole plate. Another one, again, mentors. All oh, mentors, mentors, mentors. One of my mentors. Chunk it down. Don't look at the whole pie. What's? Why did I sit on it for a year? It wasn't my top priority. I got through everything else, and when it became the priority, that's where the focus mm -hmm. was. So, yeah. just get started, and you'll figure out what your priority is. You'll figure out where you got to focus on. You'll learn. Okay, I need to emphasize more over here, and I'm good over here. That stuff will come, but you have to start to start realizing those processes. So honestly, just plain and simple, start. Start, file the LLC and start. Take a step, That's start. You know, if you want to have fun with it, do your business card, start. Dream build, whatever, just start. I love it. That's great advice. I love mm -hmm. it. I love it. All right, thank you, my friend. I appreciate the time you spend with me here. Uh, and, thank you. Um, thank you for sharing what you share. It's uh, appreciated. My pleasure, my pleasure. And you have a great nap or whatever rest. <laughs> get get some rest. Uh -huh. get going. Yep, and, gotta uh, be safe tonight. I will mm -hmm. talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Enjoy your pool. All right, thanks, Will.